So we have separated this into four different uh, personas, and we would like to drill down further on how to mitigate the pain points that we have just stated. Um, so we've captured a list of common objectives from managers uh, operating in the mid-sized market, uh, starting with end users uh, who are requesters in this scenario. So uh, the employees who are requesting for a certain good or service. So for end users, um, businesses are looking into providing a simplified end-to-end -end buying experience for business to business. Um, which can be compared to a Amazon-like or for our Dutch viewers, uh, a bold.com-like shopping experience. That, of course, as consumers, we well know from uh, business-to-consumer websites. Um, at the same time, this simplified buying platform should also keep the uh, procurement policies intact, of course, and should support end users in making the right buying decisions. So the platform should suggest from whom to buy. Uh, in other words, making it possible for businesses to uh, drive spend towards preferred vendors. Uh, and having all of these things in one place will push purchase organizations to have even more compliance in their purchasing process and uh, yeah, have a very efficient um, procurement journey for the end users. Uh, the combination of, simple buy, of a simple buying platform and the increase in compliance should then lead to a reduction of time uh, during the purchasing process and generate cost savings uh, by making sure that employees are spending their time on uh, activities that matter the most to your organization. Of course, as an organization, you, would your, you want your uh, employees to spend as few time as possible uh, in procuring items uh, in a procurement system. And that is what SNAP makes possible. Um, businesses are also looking into making uh, purchasing available on mobile devices. So wherever the uh, end users find themselves, uh, they should also be always be able to make purchases within the system and make approvals within the system. Uh, so location should really not limit the process. Now, the objectives for procurement managers, the second persona, um, they are to automate the uh, communication of purchasing documents. Uh, you can think of uh, purchase orders, um, order confirmations, uh, shipping notes, um, and also invoices. Um, the platform should really facilitate a, a close collaboration between buyers and sellers and preferably a network environment. Uh, the platform should then automatically populate account, accounting fields, supplier fields, category fields, and delivery data uh, to drive follower processes and uh, decisions in, by smart technology. So all these fields that are mentioned should really be uh, pre-populated so the end user does not have to um, fill out tons of fields. They, they should just be there in a standardized and uh, compliant format. So this should contribute to uh, the objectives to reduce human errors, of course, and to improve data and document accuracy. Um, yeah, I think it's straightforward if you uh, have more automation and less manual tasks that you can expect that the uh, manual error rates would go down and that uh, yeah, the system would be more fluent with, with less errors, basically. Then for finance and accounts payable, uh, the objectives are really to automate, automatically populate order data on invoices. Uh, this is called a PO flip, where you basically default data that comes from the PO into an invoice uh, to have less invoicing, invoice matching issues. Um, processing invoices digitally should also speed up the overall processing efficiency in order to get early payment discounts and to eliminate these uh, late payment fines, which we spoke uh, earlier about, that could really hurt the business. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, a pity if uh, the company uh, has to pay the, these fines, of course. Then the last persona, namely the category managers, um, they're really all about insights. So they really need to have more insight in what happens within their area of spend. Um, the platform should facilitate detailed reports uh, to stimulate uh, accurate cost saving decisions and make sure that um, the process within their managed categories is uh, yeah, going fluently. 
now that we've discussed the uh, pain points and uh, objectives, uh, it's uh, about time that we introduce the uh, solution which can help mid-sized businesses to overcome these pain points and help managers to achieve the stated objectives. Um, SAP Ariba Snap is just positioned to do just that. Uh, the platform will provide content from day one. Uh, it showcases a persona-based and elegant user experience, and it really replicates this uh, consumer shopping experience that we know from Amazon or Bull.com, uh, which uh, yeah, really guides users in making the right purchase decisions and has a really intuitive feel to it. 